Hello, um, let's talk today about the basic tools that you need to keep in your truck when you are going to the job site. If you have a leak or any minor problem and you can fix it when you are in the job site, you will need to have at least a set of wrenches in metric, in metric sizes from 10 to 32. This will cover pretty much everything you need to do for an emergency bypass, an emergency repair in your pump. Like we have said before, sensing valve is an, uh, is an integral part of our pumps. It's a wear part that worn out. It's good to have a spare one. To check your pressures, if you need to call us, one of the things we ask you is how much pressure you have in different circuits. You have a, a gauge for your main pressure. You have a gauge for your accumulator pressure. You have different gauges, but if you need a specific circuits, usually with the new pumps, we include, and you should have it too, a gauge that allows you to read the pressure from the system. Besides those tools, something that is critical for you is to have a set of Allen keys up to 10 millimeters. That will be the basic mechanical and hydraulic tools you need for electrical, for emergencies. With the new pumps, we include a test light. So not only you can check if your fuses are good or not, you can check if you are getting signal to the different areas of your electrical panel. With the new pumps, for safety, for emergencies, we include three of what we call ice cube relays. Every single one of those relays in the panel for your other signals are exactly the same one, ice cube relays. If one of those fail, you can change for any one of those. The number and the description will be stamped in the piece of fiberglass we have on top, so you can pull it out, change the relay, put a new one, you are ready to go and work again. We include with every new pump several because every single one is exactly the same. Besides that one, you have a long relay. This long relay is your main pumping relay. We include one with the new pumps. Keep one in your pump. Vibrator. Main power signals, one, two. We have three different relays over here, so we use a standard relay, short base, different than the main pump, and this will cover any of the three ones you have in here. In most of the new pumps, we are using what we call a wafer relay, and we have one, two, three, four over here. Depending on the system you have, we will have something for your uh, auxiliary lights and for the horn too. So you have four over here, it's possible that you have two more depending on the model of your pump. And we have two spares, keep at least one in the pump. Of course, obviously, all your fuses. In all of our new systems, when a fuse burns, the light will come up. If the, if the light doesn't come up or if your system doesn't have that, use your test light. It's the tool that is going to help you more to try to figure it out a troubleshoot and troubleshoot your system. Thank you.